Hey guys, Andrew here at Terrytown RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I am standing in the world's largest showroom. This place is amazing. We have a little bit of everything inside, so when the weather turns, it doesn't matter to us. Come and see some great RVs inside. Uh, we've got everything from motorhomes to travel trailers, a little bit of everything. But today, I have the honor of talking about uh, some great features and benefits and everything that has to do with Intec soles. So the only one I don't have here in the lineup is the Horizon, but I do have a Dawn and an Eclipse, which are very similar, just door placement, basically a reverse floor plan, and it's gonna depend on what works for you. So let's get right into it. Today I wanna to talk about what makes Intec great in general. So what makes them really stand out is a full aluminum frame. So a lot of people will say aluminum cage, what these are is fully welded aluminum, no screws or staples or anything like that. It's a fully welded cage all the way around, including your frame. So the whole thing is aluminum, which is great for lightweight um, and also very good at holding shape. Uh, it can twist a little bit when you're bumping down the road. And both of these have the Rover package on them. So what the Rover package means is you have a three inch lift uh, you also have this sweet platform on the front to mount to. Um, you also have some sweet graphics and you have a bumper on the rear. Now some of the cool options you can do on these is like an off-grid package where that's going to be your lithium batteries and your solar. Or you can do a rack on the top if you've got kayaks, bikes, things like that. Um, and then there's also some other cool things like side awnings, stuff like that. So first I want to show you over here we have the Dawn. So the Dawn is your rear door, um, and this is gonna put your bed up in the front. And to some people, that's uh, what they wanna see more is the big panoramic window that goes around the front. Uh, just makes your sleeping experience a little bit better. Um, and you have a great storage up front as well. So what we'll do is we'll step inside and give you kind of an idea of what we're looking at in the Dawn. So in the Dawn, you have your kitchen back here in the rear. I love their really modern look and you can just kind of see the quality in here. They have a farmhouse style sink, deep single bowl. Um, and they just do little features like you've got a nice blackout shade back here. Um, you have a little bit of uh, stainless tiling back here, two burner. Um, you've got your stereo overhead, and you have a nice fan um, directional, so you can go in or out with that. You've got really nice cupboard systems, and these are all soft clothes. And then you also have a great place under here to put a trash and some maybe bigger pots and pans, things like that. And you'll notice this actually has a marine grade carpet. This is like what you're going to see on a pontoon. And what kind of makes that great is you can literally just do soap and water and clean that right up. So over here, I'm not a huge fan of wet baths usually, but that is a wet bath with a lot of room. You can see that I'm 6'1", and even I can stand up in there. Um, and they have a beautiful light ring going around up top and some nice storage areas to be able to keep your soap, your uh, all your shower needs and stuff, and a nice mirror on the door here. So moving right back, um, you're gonna see you have your refrigerator and your microwave. Um, you also have your furnace down low here. And then rotating over here, you have your TV, which is on a swivel. And then you have some nice storage down here. Now all of these cupboards you can just feel are really hardcore. Um, you're not gonna get that rattling and then they are also a soft close. Now moving right along back here, this is a huge U-shaped dinette. This is something where you could probably get, I would even stretch and say five to six people around this thing, playing cards, enjoying yourselves. Um, and then you also have these great magnetic overhead cabinets, which hold themselves up. Again, you can feel they're really tough you're not getting that rattling when you're opening and closing them. And then you have some small storage up front here too, just for a few little things. 
Now this, where we're sitting, is gonna be your main bed. So this will go down and this will be your main bed. But you can see this huge window up front. You have two windows on the side getting good cross ventilation. This is for the people that wanna be able to have the views when they're sitting and maybe get that big, nice panoramic view. And a lot of people always ask, yes, this has a curtain, so you can black this out when you do not want the world to be able to see in here. Um, and also blackout curtains on the side, you can get this thing quite blacked out, maybe sleeping a little late if you've had too much fun at the campfire. So next, let's take a walk outside. We're gonna go check out the horizon. So the horizon is basically your flipped floor plan. What we'll do is we'll roll around back here so you can get a good look at this rear bumper that comes on the Rover as well. And then it is prepped for a rear camera as well. So over here we have the Eclipse. I'm sorry, I might've said the horizon. So with the Eclipse, you have your storage in the back um, and you basically just have a flipped floor plan. Um, something really cool that they do, I don't know if you noticed, Come back to the front here, they have a tilt forward design is what they call it. They think that there's some wasted space here. So they actually do a nice rounded front that kind of leans over. Um, and then you also have your two propane tanks under here. So something else, this is a custom glass, but it is a triple layer glass and they give you a cover. So when you're going down the road, you don't have to worry about stone chips or things like that. It's a very thick insulated cover that will go over the front of this. So now we'll step in the Eclipse. So the Eclipse tends to boast a little bit more floor space. Um, and obviously up front here you have your kitchen with your big panoramic window. Now that's not to say you don't have some great windows in the back, but just for the people that wanna be able to come in real quick, you have your kitchen access up here and it's a little bit more counter space than the other one. So if you like to cook a little bit more, when you're camping, uh, this one might be a little bit better for you. I like that they're doing some of their corded storage over here. So if you've got cups and stuff like that, maybe some plates, but you also have more of the, the great cupboard space that's under all of these and some overhead storage as well. Uh, rolling back here, you have a, a great wet bath again. Um, it's in the middle, so you have even a little bit more headroom in this one. And then all the way back here, um, I would say that you could get three to four comfortably back in here, um, but your bed is gonna be going east and west, um, unlike the other one where it's north and south. So this way, you might have to do a little crawling over each other, um, but you do have your TV here, which can tilt around. And then you have some nice little storage or uh, side tables here uh, that I really like. And they even do a little bit over here. They have a nice little area to hang clothes. I think that's a cool little feature. And then you have a main light switch in the back too in case you're laying in bed and forgot to cut a few lights off. Um, and as you can see, they do some soft blue lighting. So if you really wanna uh, cut down on the bug attraction, you can turn on some blue lights. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to come and visit us or check us out online or give me a call. My name is Andrew at Terrytown RV. My number is 616-302-3552. We hope to see you soon. Thanks.